Oh, I'm look, you go, you gonna pay for your grade. You, you got Oh, he got you too, Oh, he church on Sunday. <laughs> All right. Bye, darling. <laughs> Boy, I swear you watch me like I'm the TV. What? <laughs> Uh-oh. Looks like you knocked over your sister. Grandma, you're downstairs. She's here. She's far away. Did you come over here? No, because she's too far away. What's her name? Remember, her name is Blake. And she's five years older than you. Want to count? thing I ever had to do next to you. Watching your mommy and daddy go to heaven. I had to take care of both of you. The family meeting and <laughs> ends me with just me. And it broke my heart. I couldn't watch both of you grow up together. But she's with your other grandmother. <laughs> take care of both kids at the same time even but we're both doing the best we can for y'all okay 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 hello hey hello hey oh hey 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 i'm sorry i'm delayed see you around see you around i'm gonna rock you about Well, I had to go to the back. I don't know what you want me to do if I got you to pick with the thing. Yeah, hey. See, you guys found the restaurant. Honey, but look, let's not eat here, okay? Then that do shit. I don't want to eat here. Hey.
the top literary icons of the 20th century. Fitzgerald, Hemingway. What do both of these people have in common? Mm. Terrible last names. No. <laughs> They're both men. What about Zora Neale Hurston? Mm. Don't be biased, Grant. You're better than that. Guys, I think it's vital that we show a mixture of how society directly affected each of these writers' experiences in America at the turn of the century to get a better understanding of that particular poetic view. Hmm. I agree with Brynn. It's definitely a different take on the assignment. I think we're off to a good start. <laughs> well, look what the cat dragged in. My bad, guys. I got hurt at work. So, uh, we're gonna miss This non-signing genius got a job before me? <laughs> of course he did. He wants to be just like them. Typical for these hearing wannabe. So, I'm thinking, if you don't like it, just let me know. But, whatever we do, have a mix of different writer from the early Omega 20th century. Like, Hemingway is a bit of her thing. In the mix to show the way of what was happening in other countries during that time. You know what? I like that idea, Blaze. It's like you read my mind. Yep. And even I agree with you, so you know it's a good idea. I couldn't agree more. I think that showing the different points of view of all of these culture-shifting writers is exactly what this divided country needs today. A quick peek into the past so that we don't repeat it. You got this stuff there or what? You know, not everyone can handle college. Maybe you need some therapy. Hey, Blaze. Don't forget about our next meeting. I won't. I'll see you later. See you later. Oh, dang, I missed it. Yeah, you did. I'm sorry, I had a meeting with my academic counselor. Yeah, whatever. Can we just go now? Yeah. Um, Talia? What's up? Where are you going with that girl? She texted me before the meeting and asked if I can go get snacks with her after. But why are you walking with her? I'm your best friend. You barely know her. And now y'all are walking and talking everywhere all of a sudden. It's not a big deal. She just wants some food. It is a big deal. First you're going for sleepovers at her house, then you're making 7-Eleven runs together. Before you know it, you guys are going to be wearing the same hairstyle and going getting French manicures before parties and stuff. What? Now you're just reaching for gold, Bryn. I swear I'll be back in 10 minutes. Mark my words. Princess, how are you? I'm good, Daddy. Did you talk to Dr. Chen yet? When am I getting my bet? I'm afraid I have some bad news, Princess. You won't be getting your California king size bed or private bathroom. I I'm sorry, Daddy, but my brain doesn't understand. Listen, Princess. Daddy? You said you were going to fix it. I know I did, but after speaking with Dr. Chen, we both agreed that it may be time for you to take on a little more responsibility. I'm responsible, Daddy. I haven't set any more microwaves on fire. <sighs> no, Princess, you haven't, and the entire school appreciates that. Red Rose, as your father, I'm charged with preparing you for the hardships of the world. 
It's up to me and your mother to help you walk into the very best version of the woman you are becoming. If I never let you fly, you'll never know what you're made of or how strong you are. I won't be around forever, Rosie, and if I don't teach you how to successfully navigate in this thing called life, I will have done you a great injustice. You need to experience all of life. The good, the bad, and the uncomfortable twin bed. Princess, still there? I know it doesn't seem fair right now, but in the long run, you'll see. I really did fix it, just not in the way you thought. I'm still here for you. I'm still gonna take good care of you, I just need you to learn how to take good care of you too. I won't be able to rescue you every time. A lot of the time. Just not every time. I have to go get ready for a meeting, okay? I love you, princess. a box of Lucky Charms. What? You're magically delicious. I feel a headache forming. Please leave. Now, why would anybody in their right mind leave here all alone? Shane, you give me cramps. <laughs> Girl! You better get over here! Oh, you can run, but that booty so can't hide! Why are you friends with him? Well, he's the home. I guess. He's not that bad. He is, but okay. Let's go get a drink. Brittany. Uh-huh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> J. O. H. And oh, John, John, John! <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so sweet. <laughs> Yo, I know you're not trying to push up on my girl. Hey, stop. Oh, so you think you got jokes, huh?
Put your hands down, boy. Did you know you were speeding? License and registration. Wish you can't understand English. License and registration. Stop that moving around like that. Put your hands where I can see them. Yeah. We have a situation with Lockley. Is there a problem here, Dave? Yeah, you're just your normal troublemaking kids. Get out of the car, boy. Get out of the car! Stop moving! Stop moving! Stop moving! Didn't I tell you to stop moving? Put your hands down. Kids think you run this town. It was a clean, clean shoot, Rick. He was reaching for my gun. He was. Oh, no. What? <laughs> 